एवरी वन यू आर वेलकम टू मैप एज अ नोट हम आज एज ऑफ रिवाइवल कवर करेंगे दिस इज द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सीरीज एंड वी विल बी डीलिंग विद दिस एज ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन पेपर एनालिसिस जिस तरह से इस पीरियड से क्वेश्चन फॉर्म हुए हैं उस तरह से हम इस पीरियड से डील करेंगे तो स्टार्ट करते हैं and if you find this effort helpful in your journey to qualify net so you can appreciate the effort with your one like one share and one subscriber that is really motivating and uh, if you find that i need to do some improvements in it so please let me know in the comment section below okay so the video to so, sabse pehle is age ko thoda samajhte hain the actually jo aapka age of revival tha hum ise age of regeneration bhi keh sakte hain hum ise age of rebirth bhi keh sakte hain kyunki is period mein aapka jo ancient greek jo knowledge tha wo rediscover hua tha अदरवाइज आपका प्लेटो एंड एरिस्टोटल देवर जस्ट बी देवर जस्ट बरिड बैक इन द बी सीज राइट वी वुड हैव नेवर वट टू नो अबाउट दम फॉल ऑफ कंस्टेंटीनोपल जब हुआ वेन तुर्क्स अटैक इन फोर्टीन फिफ्टी थ्री ऑल दो स्कॉलर्स रैन अवे टू इटली ठीक है और उस एक नॉलेज जो थी वो पूरे वर्ल्ड को मिली लोगों को पता चला अबाउट दिस फिलोसफी अबाउट दैट पॉलिटिक्स राइट दीज थिंग्स वर नॉट इन द एग्जिस्टेंस अगर हम देखें तो इंग्लैंड का जो मेन कंटेंट ऑफ स्टडी था दैट वाज ओनली क्रिश्चियन थियोलॉजी पर जब रेनेसा आया अब जब ये जो रिवाइवल आया जब ये कंस्टेंटीनोपल का फॉल हुआ तो एक नया सब्जेक्ट आया ह्यूमैनिटीज लोगों ने फिलॉसफी हिस्ट्री और पोइट्री एंड 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 ड्रामा को पढ़ना शुरू किया इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग समथिंग ऑफ देयर ओन दे डिवोटेड दैम सेल्व स्टडीज दिस इज वाई इट इज नोन एज अ एज ऑफ लर्निंग एज वेल तो नो प्रोग्रेस in the field of literature because at the very beginning they were just busy in those wars and all they were getting distracted because of these war second there was reformation right people start doubting religion they start questioning religion and third this age of revival came the new knowledge came so instead of creating something of their own they put themselves into studies influence thai greek culture ka is period mein bahut zyada discoveries hui matlab It was like a transition of this 90s uncle into this 21st century dude. जिसके पास हाथ में अगर ओल्ड अंकल के हाथ में आप एक नया फोन एंड्रॉयड दे दोगे सो ही विल श्योरली श्योरली टेक सम टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स मैकेनिज्म सो द सेम थिंग हैपन हेयर वो उस चीज़ को लर्न कर रहे थे सीख रहे थे और जो रहने सा जो 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 ये जो ये टर्म है इट वॉज नॉट इन द एग्जिस्टेंस टिल नाइनटीन सेंचुरी नाइनटीन सेंचुरी के हिस्टोरियन ने इस टर्म को इन्वेंट किया था रेनेसा पीरियड नाम की टर्म वहाँ पे उस वक्त नहीं थी इट इट इज़ अ फ्रेंच वर्ड एंड इट मीन्स रीबर्थ और ह्यूमनिज्म उसी uh, उसी टर्म में कि इससे पहले आपका क्रिश्चियन थियोलॉजी एक मेन सब्जेक्ट था ह्यूमनिज्म आया और ह्यूमन जो है जो मैन है वो एक सेंटर बना फॉर एवरीथिंग यू नो इफ वी रिलेट दिस टर्म विद द फ्री प्ले ऑफ जैक्यूज दैर इज अ इन द पोस्ट मॉडर्न पीरियड नाउ दे इज अ नो सेंटर इफ वी हैव टू गेट अ मीनिंग we have to go through all of these theories why because at this at the very beginning man was doing everything he was discovering he was creating he was inventing so he he became the the man the human became the center theek hai isiliye is period ko age of humanism bhi kaha jata okay to humanism in the term of wo bhi ke humanities ke subjects the jo discover hue aapka philosophy history poetry and drama second thing as we uh, as we discussed that it was the influence of greek culture and one thing we uh, like clearly can uh, clearly can see here as uh, as as thomas wyatt he introduced the sonnets uh, uh, to the english literature right he brought them from uh, from italy plutarch plutarch is the one who invented them so this is how these things were getting here and there uh then we have uh, this period is also known as a period of scientific inventions and discoveries christopher columbus he discovered the america in 1492 in the pursuit of wealth he was and scientific invention in 9 in 1439 we have johann gutenberg introduced or uh, sorry invented the printing press theek hai printing press ka jab invention hua to books aapki cheap hui cheaper hui that everyone started to get access to the books publishing hona shuru hua when they start reading they got access to education when you got access to education this is a planting of a seed uh, of this uh, this is a planting of a seed of of thought of this uh, idea 
when you have idea when you can think then you start questioning then you start doubting and that's what they did they start questioning the existence of god they start questioning these these churches so it was a great period and some of the work we will discuss here kuch works ko bhi discuss karenge jo bahut hi important hai is a se puche jate hain another thing thode historical events hai yahan pe battle of agin court happened in 1415 it was in between this uh, 100 years of war which was uh, from 1337 and ended in the 1453 in between this battle of agin court took place it uh, and the and the and the english army claimed the victory over the french army and uh, next one is the treaty of troyes 1420 ये एक एग्रीमेंट था दैट आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ हेनरी फिफ्थ द थ्रोन ऑफ फ्रेंच विल बी इनहेरिटेड बाय हिज हेयर्स एंड देन वी हैव इन्वेंशन एंड एज यू टॉक्ट वॉर ऑफ रोजेज वॉर ऑफ रोजेज वॉज बिटवीन दीज टू रॉयल फैमिलीज यॉर्क ऑफ लैंकास्टर एंड सॉरी द हाउस ऑफ लैंकास्टर एंड द हाउस ऑफ हाउस ऑफ यॉर्क एंड इट गॉड्स इज फ्लावरी नेम फ्रॉम देयर बैजेज House of Lancaster had the red rose badge, and uh, House of York had the white rose badge. And uh, this war is dated from fourteen fifty five to fourteen eighty seven. And then another one we have is the Hundred Years War, as we said. It ended in the fourteen fifty three. Caxton Coxton Caxton introduced printing press to England fourteen in fourteen seventy five. and uh, and after that we have seen that uh, how much progress was there in the field of literature because then the people start to study read and then the authors they were making money for sure because they were selling more books then and then we have more authors columbus discovered america in 1492 this is a, again a discovery this is a period of full of excitement right discoveries inventions new thing coming taking place it was similar to 21st century as we are seeing new startups are coming up so the in a similar way this uh, the same thing was happening back then is the age of revival this was the early renaissance the main renaissance came in england in, uh, in the period of elizabethan that was the golden age let's talk about some most uh, important work here erasmus praise of folly here we just need to mug up these things right it's not something that we have to adopt that subjective approach towards it the way questions are asked they have asked question only uh, about the that put these work in terms of uh, your chronological order arrange them in a chronological order when it is published and which in which language it is written so it's a essay written in latin in uh, 1509 published in 1511 last line is no man is wise at all times or is without his blind side and narrated by folly she praised herself just mug it up another work we have is a thomas more utopia 1516 it is published in the latin it is written in latin and then later it was published in the english in 1551 is a social political satire is pe kafi questions bane hain in the previous years question paper ek do hum is uh, work ke baad mein bhi dekhenge the name derives from the greek but has a double meaning utopia good place or no place because there is a no place like a good place the way they have mentioned it because it's just from the point of view the thomas more he is trying to create a different world that how it should be and it is as i said that this is a period of greek influence so this book is modeled on on plato republic the way socrates is talking having dialogue that there must be an ideal society and the philosopher uh, and the king should be a philosopher right the same approach they have here and this is divided into two books that we will later discuss in this work its setting is antwerp england the fictional island of utopia so this is the place utopia uh its setting is antwerp so it can be a question hi everyone you are welcome to map of as a note hum aaj age of revival cover karenge this is the fourth part of history of english literature series and uh, we will be dealing with this age on the lines of on the basis of uh, the previous year's question paper analysis jis tarah se is period se question formed hue hain us tarah se hum is period se deal karenge to start karte hain and if you find this effort helpful in your journey to qualify net so you can appreciate the effort with your one like one share and one subscriber that is really motivating and uh, if you find that i need to do some improvements in it so please let me know in the comment section below Okay so
upon the idea that money corrupt the government and destroy justice and happiness in society another thing thode historical events hai yahan pe battle of agin court happened in 1415 it was in between this uh, 100 years of war which was uh, from 1337 and ended in the 1453 in between this battle of agin court took place it uh, and the and the and the let's take some question on it and uh, you just write down the answers in the comment section below In Thomas More Utopia of the following leisure past time is not a favorite among the utopians so which one which of the following is not true of the ideal state in Thomas More Utopia personal property money and vice are effectively abolished the root cause of crime ambitions and political conflict are eliminated there is only one religion guided by the principle of a benevolent supreme being its priesthood which includes some women is limited in number we have discussed this you will surely find uh one different one here and it's easy so make sure you write down its answer in the comment section so you know that who is a traveler here mention his name in the comment section below and uh then we have the death of the author which is written by the thomas mallory again important work mostly it is asked in the chronological order type questions completed in 1470 published in 1485 by the caxton सो कैक्सटन सेपरेटेड मेलोरेज एट बुक्स इन टू ट्वेंटी वन बुक्स पहले ही आठ बुक्स में ही लिखा गया था बट इसने ये सेपरेट की इन ट्वेंटी वन बुक्स टेल्स द फेमस लेजेंड ऑफ किंग अर्थस के बारे में है नाइट ऑफ द राउंड टेबल्स के बारे में है एंड दे क्वेस्ट फॉर द मिथिकल हॉली ग्रेल हॉली ग्रेल वॉज अ कप फ्रॉम विच जीजस क्राइट ड्रिंक ऑन हिज लास्ट सपर बिफोर हिज क्रूसिफिकेशन राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अनदर वर्क हेयर this is the roger ashkems this is the last work we are discussing because as i said that there was a less progress there was almost no progress in the field of literature during this period so toxophilus is his work uh, school of shooting its meaning in english for uh, 1545 published publishing dates inki zyada yaad rakhna chronological matters mein ye uh, chronological order wale questions mein zyada tar aise puche jate hain questions even though their meanings bhi sometime uh, roger ashkem was archer and he was a lecturer in one of the colleges of cambridge university and he wrote this to defend archery against claims that ke jo archers hote hain jo jo archery hai wo unsuitable hai for scholars and uh, it is a dialogue between two character philologus a lover of study and toxophilus a lover of the bow right so make sure you remember it and you will also get this pdf of uh, you will also get this pdf in your uh, in your telegram right uh, so make sure you join the telegram channel i will be giving its link is my professor note nta nta ugc net you will also get the quizzes for all the concepts that we will be covering here so make sure you join there and beside this if you need the detailed notes right uh, so you can uh, contact on my professor's note at the rate gmail.com i will be providing you its email id in the description below so make sure you mail us there and uh, if you like this video so subscribe it like it share it till then time have fun be focused have the consistency have discipline my professor note signing off